Okay, let's get on with the second part of this forecast. That new moon in Taurus really is all about the personality of Taurus, and what we need to do is make sure that your personality is intact, you might say. This is a good time to make the new you. For Gemini, it's your 12th house. Be sure that you're not too obsequious and that you don't say or do the wrong thing to shoot yourself in the foot. Today might be a good day to take care of things that uh, might be glitches in your computer or, pro or programs and shit like that. Over here we see that uh, we have Cancer, and Cancer's sextile to that, and that is the 11th house for Cancer. And Cancer's 11th house, of course, is fulfilling hopes, wishes, and desires, and you may find that friends may be there for you. Uh, as the moon is in exaltation for you, you will come first. Don't, don't be afraid to take care of that business. For Leo, it's the 10th house, and that 10th house also does the same as Capricorn does. Start a new project. Get moving with it, but don't be a namby-pamby about it, and do not be over boastful. That moon can be your 12th house and cause a lot of problems down the road, so you need to be careful with that. Virgo, very good. With Mars here in sextile, to, uh, trying to, to this is going to give you a lot of benefits if you take care of the details and make sure that you know exactly where you're going with that. The 6th house, Libra, is telling us that we need to watch ourselves and be care that we don't uh, overstate our, our value and undershoot our achievements. Be careful that you don't uh, make yourself sick, keep your throat dry. The same is going to be for the Scorpio people. Scorpio, it's the 7th house. And this, this is an emphasis of placed on your house of uh, relationships. So be careful with your relationships. And if you're starting a new relationship, give it some time. They may be a little slow, but uh, in your opinion, but you'll see that it's well worth the wait. Sagittarius, well, of course, Sagittarius is telling us a brand new shot as well, because when we look at Sagittarius, we recognize that that is giving us new creative inflow. Time to work that Jupiter aspect that's sitting over here on the far side of the planet. Capricorn, we've already talked about and discussed in the earlier video. Same thing with Aquarius. The only difference with Aquarius is that that is in a square position. So Aquarius might be a little bit too easygoing during this period. I would say use that Saturn to toughen up a little bit. Pisces, stop dreaming, get this conjunction going and get it into your benefit because the moon, the first thing the moon does is conjoin that Jupiter, which is the ruler of Pisces, can make a great deal of difference for you. Also, Aries, this is the emphasis this year, uh, this month rather, is on your second house, so money becomes very important. Frugal up a bit, that Taurus just tells us to take care of the business as needed and don't go overboard.